At 6,950 pounds, this 2020 Jayco Whitehawk 27 RB just landed here at Halet Auto and RB in Coldwater, Michigan, and this thing is awesome. Let's jump inside. I'm gonna show you some of the really cool features that Jayco's thrown into this, and I really think you're gonna like this camper. Stepping just inside the main entry door, all I can say is, come on, Jayco, this isn't even fair. This thing is beautiful. There is no other way to describe it. I mean, the modern farmhouse is just, in my opinion, the best interior going on in the RV business right now. Many are imitating, but nobody is duplicating. You're gonna see this nice big U-shaped dinette that we have, complete with uh, under storage. We're gonna have some cabinets there to get in there. And I love the way they're doing their tables now. It's kind of a fixed mount table with this single bar. So it's gonna really allow easy access to get in there and slide around it and get seated. I'm gonna say you're probably gonna get five adults uh, maybe four adults and two kids, or four adults and three kids, four kids around that. It's, it's a pretty large U-shaped dinette that's also going to convert down into a sleeper. Um, for those taller guests you have, there's plenty of room for them right there. Next to that, we're going to have our dual Stacy Stewart theater seats. Again, loving the gray interior. Look at that accent panel on our side slide wall there. Just, I mean, that like whitewash is just, I mean, they're killing it. It's just super nice. And that accent just looks really great. If you're noticing, the main slide wall is a, is just kind of like a standard, nice little gray texture. And then you get to that whitewashed side wall right there. Just a really, really nice accent. Coming across, you're gonna see our main bedroom up there in the front. Entertainment system area right directly across from our theater seats. Couple of cabinets in the top, big flat screen TV right there. Our audio system just below that. Continuing down is gonna be our electric uh, fireplace. That's also gonna serve as a 5,000 BTU space heater. The nice things about those is on those chilly mornings, you just crank that baby up and it takes that coolness, crispness right out of the air and you're not having to fire up your uh, propane furnace. Flipping around the other way, I'm up in the doorway of the bedroom, looking back at the door side at our kitchen. We're gonna have this nice, beautiful Dometic eight cubic foot, two-way RV refrigerator, gas and electric, and you're gonna see it's gonna have the modern farmhouse panels in there, keeping that theme consistent all the way across. On the bottom here, we're gonna have our flush mounted Fury and cooktop. That's gonna give you three burners on the top, as well as a nice little oven, perfect for, you know, chocolate chip cookies, frozen pizzas, kind of some of your smaller stuff. Big under sink cabinet, three drawers, and that top drawer is like a little sponge flip out style drawer, really cool, very effective. Gets kind of that messy stuff right off that countertop. Speaking of countertop, sealed edge countertop, dual stainless steel base and sink with residential style faucet. You're gonna see our pop-up power point right there that's gonna have 110 as well as 12 volt power in it opening frameless window just behind that. Continuing to our overhead cabinetry, dual glass lay inlaid cabinetry with our uh, microwave right next to that. I, I mean, I just love the glass inlay. I love, look, you know, let me come in tight on this and you're gonna just see the detail that is involved in this cabinetry. I mean, they've really given it kind of that antique, old. You know who would design this camper? I'm gonna tell you who would design this camper. Uh, the Gaines, Magnolia, uh, Flip This House, is it Don and Joanne Gaines? They would design this camper. I'm not kidding you. In my opinion, that's how it is. Right back here, we're gonna have uh, storage on both sides of our bathroom door. It's gonna be good for pantry, food, extra clothing, whatever we're gonna need. But you know what? No, we're not putting extra clothing in there because I haven't even started to show you all the storage area we have for clothing. That's just food and other things. We're, we're reserving that for things that aren't clothing. And even look how that door is antique aged a little bit going into our bathroom. Really just keeping that theme consistent throughout the whole coach. We're gonna have a nice little vent fan right here, Max Air style vent fan. Gonna help move that air out of here on those, uh, you know, just kind of warm days, not real hot. We don't need to crank up our AC yet. And right next to that, just over our sink area, is this big skylight, really allowing a lot of air in. And 
you can see just to the right of that that our uh, air conditioning is ducted through the ceiling. Jumping up into our master bedroom, we're gonna have this side exit window, good for ventilation. Nice little wardrobe on that side, complete with a side table. We're gonna have dual reading lights. I've got one set on blue, one set on white, so you can see all of the functions that they have. That nice big window, if you're a little claustrophobic, that really just opens it up, lets light in, and uh, there is a shade that pulls down over that. So if you want that privacy, you're gonna go ahead and get that privacy. You got the fancy pillows from Jayco, our journey established 2020. I mean, come on, that's, that's nice little stuff. We're gonna have that whitewash accent wall, even on the nose of this, just giving you that nice cozy feel. Another wardrobe over there on that side, vertical opening window, and then our second access door. That way when we have our slide in, we will still have access to our bedroom area. And what's behind this door? Well, let me show you. Swinging into where that door is, we have this nice chest of drawers in this closet right here, four drawers coming up, nice little counter space right there that we can keep, you know, uh, I don't know, makeup, things like that maybe, because you know, you could be going out. Uh, nice big mirror. This is gonna be a motion detector light in here, so as soon as you open that door, boom, that light goes on. A couple of code hooks, as well as a hanging rod going across the top. If this closet in the front of this bedroom doesn't impress you, then I'm not sure what will, but I have more additional clothing storage space to come. Let's jump to the back into that bathroom. So the RV of 27 RB stands for the bathroom and you're getting a little, little preview of what's about to come in the mirror right there. Uh, we, so we've got our medicine cabinet complete with mirror just above our single basin sink, sealed edged countertops, nice little stainless steel faucet, additional storage below that swinging over to that nice big shower pan and again i love these shower glass shower enclosures they keep all the water in the shower if you've ever had one with the shower curtain that curtain always gets knocked out and you got shower uh, shower water all over nice stainless steel uh, handle there just above that you're going to see our skylight so if you're one of our taller customers um, you're still going to fit while we're up at the ceiling, let's swing on over to our vent. So nice little vent fan. That's all you really need in the bathroom because we've got those other max air fan in the main living area that's gonna take care of uh, any major venting that we're gonna need to do of this from cooking heat or just it's a little warm. Nice little towel rod that's being included in here. Foot flush mounted toilet. And here's the surprise. This is why I said that other area is for food storage only four additional drawers and this gigantic wardrobe. And when I say gigantic, I mean gigantic. Let's go jump on the outside. Out here on the outside of this Jayco Whitehawk 27 RB, you're gonna see that nice laminated sidewall, beautiful graphics. I mean, this thing is just sharp inside and out they have done a fantastic job on the front that big black uh squarish polygon thing you're gonna see right there that's your front automotive grade tinted front windshield power tongue jack dual 30 pound propane tanks just behind that where my red jump box is that is where our um marine deep cycle battery is going to go we have this large pass through right here we're gonna have heated and enclosed underbelly. Look at the dark frameless tinted windows, all of those open. We're gonna have sliding windows in our side of our slide box. And I, I just don't have enough room to squeeze through here to show you the whole side of this. We have just got campers stacked everywhere here at Halet Auto and RV in Coldwater, Michigan. Up here on the rear, we've got our uh, mount for a Furion observation camera. We're already prepped to have that guy put on there for you. Factory mounted rear access ladder. It's gonna get you up on that fully walkable roof. The Jayco bird right there saying, hey, how's it going? Just flying along, don't mind me, it's all good. Coming down, we're gonna have our full size spare tire mounted on our bumper. That bumper is gonna be good to put your uh, stinky slinky sewer hose up in there. And we've got our leash, la leash 
latch down here for little rover but uh no uh, vacation reenactments let's remember to get the poochies off of there before we head down the road coming along this side we're gonna have this nice big outside kitchen hot and cold water is gonna go right into that little wash basin right there uh, dorm style fridge, capital grill right next to that, so you're gonna be able to cook whatever it is, hot dogs, burgers, anything you're thinking you wanna grill up. It's gonna keep you from having to keep that additional grill with you. And as you're gonna see right there on the door, Jayco's best in class warranty, two years and three, two plus three, let me rephrase that, two plus three, two year bumper to bumper, three year structure. And just below that we've got our more ride sure steps these things are fantastic just lock right down to the ground while we were on the other side we brought in another camper here so i can't even get down this side of the unit but as you can see again those beautiful graphics nice gray and white exterior big length uh, power awning right here going to give you plenty of campsite shade everything you're going to need and since i'm running out of room down here uh, why don't we just go ahead and jump up on the roof we're up here on the roof of this 27RB Whitehawk by Jayco. A little bit of a light rain, uh, probably not the best decision I've ever made in my life, but if you've known me for any extended period of time, I'm not always known for making the best decisions. Right here up at the front, we're gonna have this little vent cover. That's gonna be just over our master bedroom. Off to the side right here, you're gonna see that we are prepped up to the roof for solar panels. The shark fin right here is going to be our uh, TV antenna. That's going to be an omnidirectional antenna. No adjustments needed. Vent right over there over our refrigerator. Continuing on to our air conditioner. Skylight over the kitchen area. Second vent. That's going to be our max air style vent. That's going to be the one in the main living area that's going to move a lot of air in and out of this unit. And finally on the rear right here we've got our vent in our restroom as well as our skylight. So if you're interested in this unit or any of the other hundreds of campers that we have here at Halet Auto and RV in Coldwater, Michigan, give us a call. Let our sales staff go to work for you. Put our, uh, our lot porters to work for you. Make them pull some campers out of the way so you can get the one you want. Take it home and start your RV adventure today. Get, get Once again, give us a call at Halet Auto and RV in Coldwater, Michigan. We literally have acres and acres of campers here ready for you to come take a look at them. Take one home and get going.